So um, the mu credential vault, what it is. So you know like uh, how we store our password inside the property files, especially database password. So so the, the problem is um, it's, it's unencrypted and if anyone were to go into the uh, source code, especially when we, we deploy the zip archive into Cloud Hub, so in, in, in that transfer, right, that, that zip archive would, could easily be uh, compromised and uh, downloaded. So, so, but if we encrypt the, the password, then, then, uh, then it will be safe. So th this is what the credential vault is about. I'll send you the slides after the presentation. So, so the, the basic concept, right, of the credential vaults involves three things. One is the um, the property file, which is the which is what you want to encrypt. Two is the key that you use to encrypt it, and then the secure property placeholder. So that there is a, actually a placeholder to put in the um, file. Currently, it's just called the property placeholder. If I were to just um, if I go into the uh, citizen API. No. Okay, let me just show you how it looks like. <clears throat> Give me some time, I'm loading. Yeah. If you if you look at the um the you know you know how you have the normal um property placeholder so this is the normal property placeholder but we're going to use the secure property placeholder to to put in our files so the in terms of configuration both of them look the same it's just that the uh, secure property placeholder you, you still put in uh, the files as is like location of the file is as such and then the, the the key this is the key that I'm talking about the vault key and then the en encryption mode uh, the encryption algorithm that you're using when you encrypt the property file so this is how the secure property placeholder looks like and then um, a normal property placeholder is just uh, less uh, complicated where you just put in the location of the property file so let's move on to the next thing Oops. so there, there, there are three ways where you can implement the uh, security vault uh, one is uh, one to one which whereby you you create one key a key is just anything you can put in like it can be ABC one to three and then you use the you place that uh, into the vault you you uh, encrypt your your file you place it into the vault and then you use one key for one uh, property file and then there's the one to many where if you have a different property file for different environments you just use one key for all the different files and then the other way is you could have uh, multiple keys for multiple different property files so it depends on how you want to implement it. And in the case for the you know, the citizen API, you could is you could use one key for all the files, I imagine. But for the property API, I've used um, each each um, each each like dev. I use dev key for for uh, test. I use the test one. UAT. I use the UAT one. And then for the production, I use the production ones. So. Um, the the thing the other thing about the credential vault is you could also customize customize it, but uh, I've I've only used the out of the box one. I'm not using the customized version. I think as we mature in our understanding, we will slowly see how see if it's necessary or sufficient. Oops. So so if we. So I've actually created a demo application. This is how, uh, 
So when you specify the uh, a unique key, right? For example, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, if you if you encrypt the property file, so you you need to open the property file with a uh, property editor, and in the property editor, it actually allows you to encrypt the file. When you encrypt each file, right? Uh, you can choose to encrypt specific values and not the whole file. So you could um, you need to remember the key, and when when you you need after that you need to put the key into the mu app properties uh, file as one of the value key value pair. So um, yeah, so if you for example in your global configuration here, if you put your key as uh, th if this is the key value right, then in your mu app property file you need to put in key dot 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 key equals to your key. Then, then when when you deploy the application, it will actually look for, it will actually uh, decrypt your file and use them accordingly. Does does it make sense? Uh, yeah. yeah. So I just speak into. Uh, can we pick different encryption methods or? This is there are yeah. there are Blowfish, there are AES, there are many. The, the drop down will show you. So whatever encryption method that you use to encrypt the file, right? You need to set back the same thing in your secure property placeholder. So if you set it differently, it will fail to decrypt the file during runtime. Okay. So 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 that's that's the that's it. And then there is also um, wait a minute. Let me get the. I've also written a piece on it with uh, all the uh, demo um, demo source code. I can also come and uh, show you how to do it in the Citizen API. Let me. So this is the web link. This is the credential wall. I've written a, a piece on it. Uh, if you want to read more about it, you can go to this link. I'll send you the link later as well. So that's uh, that's it for this. So that's what the um, this uh, credential vault is all about. <laughs>